Hi! Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute one page wonder that's got several pockets. So let's get started. So I really like how this one turned out. Um, I'll just do a little, real quick flip through and then we'll get started on showing you how to make it. But here we have the cover with a nice little label. And then you open it up and you have a, like a band right here first off. And I just kind of tuck some ephemera in here. And then there's a pocket here. And then I created on top of the one page wonder a little file folder. And then you could tuck really anything in there, but I just thought that would be fun. And then on this side you have another pocket and I just put, I made a journaling card to put in there. And then we open it up and we have another journaling card on this side in a pocket. And then here I just kind of made a little notebook that goes into this first pocket and then I stuck some stickers into the back pocket. So you got like a back pocket, a front pocket, you can kind of just layer things in here, which is always fun. And then you can close it up. So anyway, I think this is really cute. And now I'm going to show you how to make one. So I have decided to do things a little differently for this video. I have went ahead and kind of um, prepped everything before I started. So I don't have a two-sided piece of paper, but if I did, um, so, so I taped two pieces together, so it would be as if I did, so that it can be like a one page wonder. And then I've already prepped my inserts and I'll show you how I made those from other scrapbook paper. But let's go ahead and make the folio. So here is my paper. I'm gonna begin by folding in half, top to the bottom, matching it up. Piecing it. No, nope, that didn't match up perfectly. Fix that. So yeah, if you have a score board and you're using a 12 by 12, you would score it at six inches. Okay. And then I'm gonna open it up. And this is going to be my outside. This is going to be my inside. And so I want to fold it in thirds, so I'm, I'm going to measure at 4 inches and 8 inches. And then I'm just going to fold it into thirds, the opposite direction from what I folded last time. And open that side up and I'm going to fold the other side in. Like so, and open that up. So now this top part is going to form my folio, and then these are going to make the pockets. So I'm going to grab my scissors, and I'm going to cut along that line up to the middle line on this line, and then I'm going to cut on this line up to the middle line. Okay. And now we are ready to make some pockets. So for this one, because this is our middle flap, this first one that we open, so we have a pocket here and we have a pocket on this side. And we are going to make that by cutting this piece on the bottom in half. So I'm just going to cut down the middle. to that middle spot. And then you can decide, do you want your pockets on the left? And on both sides it will be on the left. Or do you want your pockets on the right? And I like mine on the right, so I'm going to take my right one and fold it in front. Ooh, hold on though, because I kind of like this pattern. So for this one, I might change it up so I can see more of this and go with the pink. But then I don't really like that. So yeah, hmm. we'll go like this. 
Oh, and that's really bland. Okay, yeah. I'm going to flip this one up just because of the patterns of the page. I think it looks a little more exciting like that. So we'll do that one. And then I'm going to cut a diagonal off of this one. Actually, I want to go from my bottom right corner to my top left. Okay, so now I have this piece. I'm going to set that aside for now. And then this will fold up to form the pocket that is right here, the first of the two pockets, the, the one that's further back. And then for this pocket, I just cut a strip off, which I end up using as a band. So I kind of come in here and just kind of cut maybe like half an inch off. It really does just kind of help it fold a little better. Maybe it's a whole inch, I don't know. So I will end up taking this, so I have my pocket here, and then I take this piece and create that band that was right here. So there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and tape down these um, pockets that I just formed. Make sure that folds nice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tape these pockets down from the folding, and then I'll come back with my pieces I cut off.
Okay, so I got all the pockets on taped down. So we got our pocket here, one of the pockets here, pocket here, and a pocket here. And, and now I'm going to add on the other pieces that we had cut off. So I'm going to add this on to be a band. I'll put tape on the top and the bottom and that's it so that this pops up. And then here's the triangle from when I cut this. And I'm just going to put it sideways a little bit and I'm going to fold it and then I'm just going to cut this piece off and when I tape it I'll put tape on this side and this side. Okay, next I'm gonna show you how to make this card. So this is the one sheet wonder itself. You have your cover, you have a band, you have a pocket here, a pocket here, when you open it, another pocket here, a front pocket, and a back pocket. And so that is your one page wonder, which is super cute on its own. But now I wanted to show you my fillers. And so first I'll show you how to make this little, um, journaling type card that you can tuck into one of your pockets. So when you see my paper that's like graph paper, I have this from um, Archer and Olive and it's just a notepad that I think came with like an advent calendar and I just pulled pages out of this. And then these, once again, if it was a one page, like double sided, that would be great, but mine wasn't, so I went ahead and taped two pieces together. And I did a five and a half by about three and a quarter. And then I rounded my corners. And I went ahead and put tape on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape this down, and then my card is ready to go. I didn't get that centered, but that's okay. It still works. So I can just slide that in there. And then I have that ready. And then I made another one for this inner pocket. So I have another one ready to go and I'll just take the tape off and then this will be ready for that pocket. Next, I'm going to show you how to make this cute little file folder that I stuck into my front pocket. And to do that, I've already cut my pieces. Um, once again, if this was a one-sided or two-sided page, then it's a piece of paper that is about, um, it's between six and a quarter and six and a half. Um, I, you could probably do six and a half and it'd be just fine by a four and three quarters. And then I kind of folded it so that I had a lip so that I could make my tab. So there's my fold. The one I, the example I made, I didn't have anything on the inside and then I thought that was a little boring so I went ahead and did that. And then I just used a piece of graph paper to make my tab because I like having something that looks different so I'm going to go ahead and stick that down. Mm -hmm. 
And then I'm going to cut up to that tab that I just put on there. And then I'll cut this side, there we go, now I have that made. I like having rounded corners so I'm just going to take a, um, a page rounder and I'm going to round off my corners real quick. I could leave the file folder like that and that would be just fine but I'm going to do one last thing and I have um, some pieces of paper I'm just going to tape them in here so if I wanted to write a note or something in there I could so I'll go ahead and put these in there So there you have it, a little file folder, and you could stick it in any of the pockets, but I'm going to stick it in my front pocket. So we got our cards in those two pockets, that one in that pocket, and then next I'm going to take my stickers. Um, this is from a sticker pad in a, oh, what was it, in a Big Lots haul video. I don't think I've shared it yet. so. If I haven't shared it yet, that will come soon. But these are small enough that I think would be really cute in one of these folios. And so I'm just going to trim it down so it fits into my pocket a little better. And then I'm going to cut it in half so that way it's like two different sticker sheets. Right in. I like that you can see both stickers. You got the words and you got those. So those can just stick in the back one. My last little insert I did was this little like made notepad. And so I just pulled pages from that um, booklet I showed you from Archer and Olive and I stapled them together. I just put them in a different order. So I got graph paper and grid dot and then lined paper. I just did nine sheets. I went ahead and trimmed down a piece of scrapbook paper to fit my paper. And then now I just need to tape it down. So I already put my tape on here and I'm just going to tape it down real quick. So now that that's attached, I'm going to fold this top part over and then I'm going to, I want to cut it like to the second line is what I want to cover. So I just kind of eyeball it and then cut across like so. And then I'm going to get some double sided tape and just tape that down. So now that that is done, the last little bit is to just put some little hanging ephemera off of my pockets and into my band and then to go ahead and decorate my cover. 
with some ephemera and just a label and then tape on my ribbon. So I'm gonna go ahead and do those now. So there it is, that's how you make this simple five pocket, one page wonder. And um, yeah, I just think it's cute. I really like how it turned out. Uh, and you could use it for lots of different things, like always journaling, memory keeping, um, prayer journal, Bible study, notes to a friend, some happy mail. You could gift it, you could slip some gift cards in there. And lots of things you can do with these. Let me know in the comments down below how you would use one of these and I will see you guys next time. Bye! If you would like to see more, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss a video.